Hey guys, so the fastest way to lose money in Magic cards is buying stuff you don't need. Now we all have this issue and some of us have this issue greater than others. Let's, and I would just use myself as an example. Um, this is my personal experience is I buy listed a lot of stuff in 2022 that I thought was a great price, but I really didn't need them. I didn't need another great heads or the 18th gold span dragon or more sealed product, right? Did I really need $27,000 of sealed product? The answer is no, nobody needs that much sealed product at one go. Um, dog is barking, it is pretty much freezing. So I want to power through this video. Bentley, stop. Bentley, stop. Okay, let me check what Bentley is doing. It's uh, my neighbor's dog. Oh, oh God. Oh, it's so hard when you have three dogs and one cat. It's... There's always somebody barking or <laughs> mowing at night in your bed. There's always something happening. Uh, anyway, back to the what is this video about how to lose money. Okay, how to lose money on magic is if you buy things you don't need, you are going to get effed in 2023. I don't know a single person on YouTube or a single NPR person who doesn't think 2023 will be a great reckoning. Uh, Congress just passed another 1.7 trillion with a T. Apparently that's how much they need for like nine months of operation. So that will give them enough money from, you know, the first, uh, I think January to September to operate themselves. 1.7 trillion dollars with a T and they can give someone to Ukraine, make missiles, you know, friend in Russia. And I'm sure that's all going to end up perfectly well. Right. And. You look at the five trillion dollar stimulus check, stimulus money pushed during COVID, and you realize, hey, it's like, wait a second, guys, like they never slowed down. We're a booster like number ten. There is no one who believes that the the current administration is spending money properly because once you open the floodgates of spending due to COVID, right? COVID was the great example. Oh, we got to spend whatever it takes, right? Uh, the famous New York attorney, uh, no, not New York uh, mayor, I think his name was Kumo or something. We will spend as much as it takes to save one life, right? That was his whole model, right? We're going to shut down all the businesses in New York City to save one life. And then it turned out that a lot of people were dying in nursing homes. And they don't, you know, because if you shut down everything, then who's going to feed? Who's going to produce? And this is my overall problem with uh, the overspending government. And you don't need to be a Democrat or Republican to see that both parties have their hands in the cookie jar, right? Um, you look at the FTX, anyway, I, I don't go too much politics. Um, I'm gonna focus on just uh, magic cards. Magic cards are a non-essential. It is the last thing that you are going to want or need. Um, it is something that nobody should be um hoarding or buy listing like this isn't something that you any anyone it, it's not desirable uh and people talk about bad about what i don't think it's really about wizard of the coast i i take tesla tesla is a very popular brand a lot of people when they were getting their stimulus money and they were filing for millions of dollars of ppp loan money they at that time they ordered a tesla and they put down a deposit, a sizable deposit, because I myself also put down a deposit, but I was able to shift that to a friend. And now they're getting deliveries today, just like PSA. You put your submit your base cards, your second year trades and Lucas, your Tyler Heroes, and your BAMs, right? Uh, any any base card you have, your first edition Zubats, right? When times are really good and the money's flowing, everyone's getting stimulus money, everyone's at home playing video games, right? There's a cost to that. You can't just print money and not not deliver services and goods. I mean, this is a, a very logical thing, right? That's why we have hyperinflation. And the government has learned that they can just cite COVID and then that means that they can print as much money as they want. 1.7 trillion dollars 
That's not even for a year of running a government. That's astronomical amounts of money. They say the five trillion during COVID, right? That was a during a two year period, so 2.5 million. So like, okay, so everyone is like good, right? Most of us are Gucci, we have vaccines and we have the opportunity to get 10 booster shots for free because Big Pharma, of course, is super nice to us and they're not, they're definitely not charging taxpayers money for these free shots, right? Anyway, things are going to get really horrendous and the last thing you need to be doing is buying magic cards you don't need. Uh, is that from Wizard of the Coast? Is that buy list? So for me, I buy a lot buy listing. We probably buy list over 200,000 last year from just magic alone. And we went heavy on Pokemon and you know, it's a, a lot of money is spent buy listing on my end. And I just think, you know, I, at the end of the day, I, my conclusion, and I, this, I think this is a relevant conclusion for a lot of you guys is that I would rather pay my employees. I rather hire my artists to make sure that she's good, donate to the charities I want. So on the list of urgencies, like if I had to cut something, it has to be magic heart. It cannot be my dogs, right? Or my cat it can't be my own health and living. It can't be my employees and their happiness. It can't be my artists. So I'm looking at all the things I can cut and remove and save a little bit of money here and there. And the one thing that's glaringly expensive is my magic. Um, just last year, I bought $27,000 of seal boxes, another $20,000 of seal boxes. I bought a Black Lotus, a multiple boxes. I bought, um, you know, even 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 just recently, I bought uh, So Ring, Mana Vault, the, the Gilded, not Gilded, the, what's my call it? Inventions. So I bought Soul Ring, Man of, I bought the four most expensive ones. I think Lotus Petal was slightly more expensive than Mox Opal. That was a bad buy. Uh, I spent a lot of money on bad employees this year and that was very terrible. So I'm not going to hire no more. I'm just telling you how it is for me. Now it might be different from you. Maybe you're, you're Peloton and you're crushing it right now. Peloton. Maybe you're Tesla, you're crushing it right now. New all time low stock, right? Maybe you're Bitcoin. BitConnect, or you're some type of crypto boy, uh, you're also crushing it right now. I don't know too many industries that are doing really all that well. And I don't know, and in all those industries, let's say truck driving and stuff, I don't know that many of them are, that, if AI really does do the solutions that it says. I use AI right now to write my blogs. You just press a button and it writes it for you, and <laughs> you copy and paste it over. I really do believe AI will make people jobless in the next five or 10 years, at least in my field, marketing, because the AI does everything for you. And it's like, oh, it's, I mean, it doesn't do everything right now to the quality that you would want it to, but it's pretty damn close. It's pretty damn close. And I know in five years it will learn because the information I'm feeding it, I'm, I'm sure that it's going to learn the, oh, you know, he, Tony wants this ad to look this way instead of this way. And this, and I'm sure it's going to learn. So my warning to you guys, and this is absolutely a warning, is don't get caught up in the hype of these magic sets. Don't get caught up in, oh my gosh, this card is on sale, so cheap. You don't need a magic card. There are far more important things that you should be spending money on and saving money for maybe an emergency. And the last thing that you need to do is buy more magic cards in 2023. That is for me. I'm going to try my hardest not to buy any cards that I don't actually like or collect or need. You know, when the, the problem with the buy list is you have the buy list and people will just fill it up. And 90% of the cards that people you know, send me are cards that like I buy, I give them a good price, the buy list, right? But it's like not something that I even want. But your store, so you might as well carry it, right? I mean, somebody wants it, I assume. Anyway. Hi guys.